sheer giving of your time and life-saving blood makes you a very special person. Did you know that there are two different ways to make a life-saving donation here at Delta Blood Bank? You probably already know about whole blood. However, there's a different type of donation called apheresis. Whole blood has three principal components, plasma, blood cells, and platelets. The apheresis process removes only the platelets and gives you back the other components. Platelets are a very important blood component necessary to stop bleeding. Patients undergoing cancer treatments, trauma patients, and cardiac surgery patients are frequent users of platelet transfusions. Platelet donation helped save four-year-old Juliet's life when she was hospitalized with leukemia. She had to get an IV, which was very traumatic for a four-year-old, and there were nurses in and out, and you know, family members in and out, and, and finally it was probably about midnight, and I had finally gotten Juliet to sleep and could take a breath and got up uh, to go on the other side of her bed to look at the IV stand and what she was hooked up to and, and, and really looked at that, that bag of platelets. And on it were two words. It said, volunteer donor. And I just started crying. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks that someone that I don't know, that I'll never know, I'll never be able to say thank you to this person, but because of their selfless act of donating, they are saving my child's life. It's very simple. This could happen to you, this could happen to a member of your family. So be involved, even if you don't save someone in your family, you're saving somebody else. I can't be a doctor to save somebody's life, but I can do it this way. Apheresis removes enough platelets in one donation to provide a single transfusion to a patient. The platelet product has only a five-day shelf life as opposed to the 42-day shelf life for red cells. So we are in constant need for platelet apheresis donors. I like the feeling that I'm doing some good for some people that need help in whatever area. It doesn't cost me anything but a little bit of time, you know, and. Uh, it's kind of a good feeling just to, to know that you're helping out the community in one way or another, some way, an anonymous gift to somebody that's, uh, it kind of makes you feel kind of good. The donor requirements for platelet pheresis are similar to that of whole blood donors with a few exceptions. At this time, Delta Blood Bank is accepting primarily male donors in this program. In order for successful processing, a donor's weight is typically 160 pounds or more. To predict a successful apheresis, a pre-procedure platelet count is performed and analyzed. A donor's height, weight, and comfort with the process are also considered. It's just something that I found easy to do, uh, and, and I can do it. I don't have to have any particular skills to do it, you know. Platelets are naturally replenished quickly after the completion of the apheresis procedure. The procedure is so efficient that the apheresis donor can donate platelets every 14 days, as opposed to whole blood donors who only donate every 56 days. The time it takes for a whole blood donation, from registration through replenishment in our canteen, takes between 45 and 60 minutes, whereas the apheresis procedure varies, about an hour and a half to two hours. When considering making a pheresis donation, it's a time commitment, but that small time commitment uh, from this volunteer donor has given Julie at 80 years of life. DVD players are provided for our apheresis donors to watch DVDs while they donate. A little bit of time, time enough to watch a movie, it's enjoyable, painless, you know, how can you beat it? Plus, you get points and, and so you can go get a pie or some ice cream or something. If you're interested in apheresis or would like more information, pick up one of these pamphlets at our registration desk or ask any one of our nursing staff. But how do you thank someone for saving your child's life? There are just no words that can express it. You know, Juliet is now seven, she is healthy, and it's all thanks to these donations. <laughs>